Good day, student. You are welcome to this week's class. Today, we are going to discuss the nature of early European contact with Nigeria. Being that as it may, the major objective of this lesson is that at the end of the lesson, you should be able to know the nature of early European contact with Nigeria. Having said this, let us take a look at what is meant by that topic, the nature of early European contact with Nigeria. So, when we are talking about the nature of early European contact with Nigeria, it has to do with how the European contact with Nigeria took place, as well as how Nigeria was discovered by the European nation. That is what the topic is all about, the nature of early European contact with Nigeria. I have just told you that it has to do with how the European contact with Nigeria took place, as well as how Nigeria was discovered by the European nations. So, the early European contact with Nigeria, as well as the discovery of Nigeria by the Europeans, took place in the following way. Number one, European nation called Portugal originated the contact. Let me explain this point. And I will start by saying that Portugal is an European nation. That is, the country is located on the continent of Europe. Why someone from Portugal is called Portuguese? So what I'm trying to say in that sense is that Portugal was the first European nation to establish a contact with the people of Nigeria. Portugal is not the only country on the continent of Europe, but the country was the first among the European nations to discover Nigeria. Portugal was also the first European nation to establish a contact with the people of Nigeria. The discovery of Nigeria by Portugal took place or happened in the year 1472. That was when Nigeria was discovered by the Portuguese. After the discovery of Nigeria by Portugal, other European nations like Britain, France, Germany, and so on came to Nigeria to establish a contact with the people of Nigeria. Though Portugal was the first among the European nations to discover Nigeria, she was also the first among the European nations to establish a contact with the people of Nigeria. But it was Britain that eventually colonized Nigeria, not even Portugal, the first among them to discover Nigeria. But European nation called Portugal originated the contact. Portugal was the first European nation to establish a contact with the people of Nigeria. That is why the point tends to make us understand that European nation called Portugal originated the contact. That is, Portugal was the first European nation to establish a contact with the people of Nigeria. That is that about that point. Number two, the contact was by chance. The contact was by chance. This means that the discovery of Nigeria by Portugal happened by chance. It happened by chance. That is to say, it was not planned. It was not a deliberate attempt on the part of the Portuguese to discover Nigeria. They only discovered Nigeria by chance. And it happened when the Portuguese were on a journey to India. And India is a country in Asia. So on their way to India, a country in Asia, they accidentally discovered Nigeria. And this discovery happened in the year 1472, when the Portuguese were on a journey to India, a country in Asia. Now, what I'm trying to say is, in essence, is that the Portuguese were actually 
on a journey to India. They were not on a journey to Nigeria. They were on a journey to India, a country in Asia. And in the course of their journey, they accidentally discovered Nigeria. That was in the year 1472. So that is what the second point is all about, that the contact was by chance. Thirdly, the contact was through sea. The contact was through sea. That is, the Portuguese that discovered Nigeria in 1472, they traveled to Nigeria through Atlantic Ocean. They did not travel to Nigeria on land or by air. They traveled to Nigeria through Atlantic Ocean. They traveled by sea, not on land nor by air. They traveled through Atlantic Ocean to Nigeria. But you need to know this. Not that they were actually coming to Nigeria. They were on a journey to India through Atlantic Ocean. And in the course of their journey to India through Atlantic Ocean, they accidentally discovered Nigeria. So they traveled through Atlantic Ocean when they accidentally discover Nigeria. That is why the contact happened through sea. They did not travel on land, nor by air. They travel on water when they accidentally discover Nigeria. And the discovery, like I said, not quite long, took place in the year 1472. That is what this third point is all about. The contact was through sea. Fourthly, the contact was progressive. The contact was what you progressive. Now, this means that the Europeans that visited Nigeria in the past for one reason or the other were of different categories. Some of them were explorers. Some were traders, some were Christian missionaries. And their coming to Nigeria did not happen at the same time. It happened in stages. That explains why the contact was progressive. The coming of the Europeans to Nigeria, different of them, I mean, different Europeans that visited Nigeria in the past. I mentioned European explorers, European traders, and European missionaries. They did not come to Nigeria at the same time. They are coming to Nigeria upon in stages. That is, it was progressive. Now, let me go further for a better understanding so that you can actually know how they are coming to Nigeria was progressive. The first among the categories of the Europeans to visit Nigeria in the past were the European explorers. And we are talking about explorers. Oh, let me ask the question in this manner. Who is an explorer? An explorer is a person who travels to unknown places in order to discover things that are there like the people of the land, the resources of the land, and so on and so forth. So the European explorers were the first category of the European people to visit Nigeria in the past. After then, we had the European traders and the European missionaries. So their coming to Nigeria was progressive. That is to, do, that is to say, European explorers were the first to visit Nigeria, followed by the European traders, and lastly, European missionaries. So their coming to Nigeria was progressive. It happened in stages, not at the same time. Lastly, the contact was to satisfy European interests. The contact was to satisfy the European interests. This means that in those days, the European nations, most especially Britain, France, Germany, and so on and so forth, they were in need of raw materials. 
that were available in Africa, most especially palm oil. Let me give an example. In those days, European nations needed palm oil to produce soap and to lubricate their machine. And these resources, I mean palm oil, was available in Africa. And in order to have access to it, they came to Africa in search of the raw material. So the, the contact was to satisfy European interest. They came to Africa to have access to our raw materials, most especially palm oil, which was highly needed in Europe in those days. So that is that about the nature of early European contact with the people of Nigeria. In the course of my explanation, I made you to understand that the nature of early European contact with the people of Nigeria has to do with how the contact that Nigeria people had with the European took place, as well as how Nigeria was discovered by the European nations. And you have been told by me how the contact took place, as well as how Nigeria was discovered by the European nations. So, when next we meet, we are going to discuss reasons for the early European contact with the people of Nigeria. Thanks.